Hi, Doug Pelton from The Frame Up. Every once in a while we get to ask the question, how do I test my generator? So we've got one in the shop that we need to do just that, and we're gonna go through a short uh, sequence to uh, illustrate uh, how you can do it on your own. We've got a generator, we've got an ohm meter, and we've got a motor to, to spin the generator. So we're going to uh, spin the generator, and let's uh, do the first test, which is going to be from the uh, D post, that's the uh, largest, we want to uh, see the voltage across there, and that should be less than two, probably about a half a volt. And then we're gonna check the F terminal, which is the fields. We're gonna take a reading between that and the ground, and that should be very nominal, uh, virtually uh, zero. And then the next step is we're going to put a jumper between F and D, and from that jumper, we're going to take a reading from the jumper to the ground, and that should show our output of the generator. As the generator goes faster, the output goes up itself, so we have to be careful that we don't uh, uh, fry the, the generator with uh, too much output. On the car at idle, it's, uh, it's nominal, so you're gonna be down in the eight, nine, 12 volt range, but if you rev your car, you can see the reading that will go up, uh, and just be careful about going too high. We've got a fixed rotation on this, so it is on the high side, so it'll be only momentary where you can actually uh, see that uh, output voltage. So let's go the, through the sequence and we'll test each one of those phases. We have the uh, generator grounded and we're going to first uh, check the D output and it looks like we got a little less than two volts, which is what is uh, correct and expected. The next one is the F terminal and we're gonna test and it shows zero, and that's another correct reading. The last test is where we run the jumper between the F and the D, and we're gonna take a reading from that to the ground. So we'll put those together and put it on there, and you can see we've got 24 volts. So this generator is doing its job and giving you good output. And that's a quick way to check your generator in the car. Have a good day from the frame up.